Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! So here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jump. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievable. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, third ready. party in the octagon ready. tonight. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, big Superman punch there. Straight right hand counter. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice knee, that is bone on bone. Nice punch, man, over the top. Just misses with the left hook. Back and forth we go. Get out of there. Oh, nice kick. Targeting the body with the kick now. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way.
way to the UFC box. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Misses with the right hand. Oh, and the high kick lands. for the inside leg kick. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Another punch to the head. Nice body shot. Nice uppercut. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling started. Under 90 seconds to go in the round. That landed. Circling towards the left now. Nice one, two there. Oh, oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. That one certainly found the target. He's continuing to go to the head. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Got him hurting here. Take it to the ground. 15 seconds. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh. Five minutes in the books. High-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round two underway. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice counter left there. Oh, nice body shot. Huge left hand. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, 
sidekick is there. And now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Head kick there blocked by Lee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Don't wait, you hit him first. Superman punch lands. Unable to connect yet. Relax, relax. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. He landed up there on that kick. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab them. It was all power shots. Now you see guys. This is big. That's big. Under two minutes now to go in the round. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. 20 seconds left to go in round two. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now, a lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the right side position come in here and try to stop this fight. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Third round underway. All right, another round is now underway. He's got to try to finish here. Oh, with authority, the body. Just out of range with that right hook. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. They're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red. The side of his body is has got to change something. He's able to slip the left. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Oh, nice straight left there. Yet another straight lands flush by Lee. A uh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice crack there. About two minutes here to go in round three. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, nice knee. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. On, one minute now to go on the third. Yeah. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell the... Oh! oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Flips to avoid the right. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Now some separation from his clutch position. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. to the championship rounds. All right, man, listen, you got him that round. You really hurt him at the end of that round. 
he is still going to be hurt. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there and fit. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Missed with that right hand. Jab, cross, high kick, go! Big power shot there. Gets hit by another front kick. You've just got to be better than that defensively. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He went high on that one. Big right hand. And back to his feet. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice. Attack that gun for me. Let's go. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand counter. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Oh, yeah, right here. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, huge Superman punch. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Under two minutes here to go round four. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they... Oh, Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the Garden! Yo, wow! That was nasty! Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee.
mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,